Hello friends, welcome back to the seventh day of live art. This is Priya from Priya Art Art Studio where I teach art for all ages. I hope everybody is staying safe. Sorry, staying safe. Let's relax a little bit and do a fun art with our family. So are you ready with these items? We need pencil, eraser, ruler, paper, oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, you can use crayons or color pencils to do the same kind of art. So now we have Kavya and Ovia with me Hiya. to draw. I hope everybody is ready for today's drawing. So I'm going to give you some clues and you're going to find out as usual. So this is going to be an Easter themed art. So what are the things that comes to your mind when you think about Easter? So the Sunday is Easter, so we are going to do something special for Easter. So let me see what you think, what are the things you think when you have Easter in mind. Um, let's see, what are your guesses? Bunny, yeah, Bhagi Lakshmi. Bunny is something that's related to Easter, but we are going to do a bird today. Bunny eggs, that, that's right. And any bird? Do you think about any bird? We are going to draw Radhika. We need Easter Bunny, Aruna. Yeah, we are going to do a bird, Aruna. Radhika, we need pencil, eraser, oil pastels, ruler, and paper. Hummingbird. Hummingbird, I don't think it's Easter based. What what is something that comes out of eggs? Robins uh pretty close. Any other chicks? Yeah, that's right, Radhika. We are going to do baby chickens today. So I'm going to tell a few fun facts about chicken. Is she? That's right. Chicken. That's right, Kevin. We are going to do, yeah, chicken. Baby chicks. So uh, there are more chickens in the world than humans. And the mother chicken keeps on switching the eggs 50 times a day keeps rotating it it keeps rolls it rolling it towards the left towards the right it keeps rolling it 50 times a day and a hen can lay 50 eggs sorry 300 eggs per year that's a lot so we are going to do some of the chickens with its eggs as well so I hope you are all ready with your family to start our drawing. So make sure you have the paper horizontally. So let me focus the paper a little more. So make sure you have your paper horizontally because that's going to be four small chickens in the paper okay Oops. so a couple of chickens are going to come out straight from the eggs so I'm going to have one, two, three, four chickens. So make sure you have room for four chickens. So I'm going to do the egg for the chicken now. So 
I'm going to start here. It's going to be a half egg. You can make it bigger or smaller, whatever size you want. So this egg is going to have this chicken is hidden inside the egg so it's going to have cracks like that so start with your pencil I'm using pastel so that you all can watch clearly so use a pencil so that you can erase even if you make any mistakes so I'm making some small cracks some big crack smaller one and I join the crack like that a chicken is hiding inside it you know so I'm going to make the body of the chicken this is just a, a fun a funny art today so make a half circle a big nice and round half circle and then it's going to have the leg one right there these are some funny chickens and one leg isn't that looking funny and then we're going to have a tiny sh shell at the back side and on the other side too that's the back back part of the egg so that's all for our first chicken. That's a funny chicken without the head. And then we are moving on to two fighting baby chickens. They're fighting for worms. So, can you wait? Yeah, Harshini, I'll wait for a second here. Make sure you have room for four chickens in the paper. So I'm going to draw two more chickens here and there's one more at the end. Today is a very easy drawing. Anybody can do it. Even little kids can do this. A real funny cartoon with baby chickens okay shall we move on to the next one so the next chicken is going to have you can even have the chickens at the bottom if you have room or on the right if you have room for that I'll just keep it a little down and it's gonna have its head right there like an inverted C and then the body is going to be a half curve a long elongated curve and 
there's going to be a tail for the body and a wing Naga, yeah, I'll wait for a few seconds here. So we just made like half chicken. Probably it's not half chicken. The head is inside its egg. There's going to be two chickens right there. And let's complete the body here. We are going to join a curve from its head to the body. Nothing complicated here. It has a inverted C and then a long body and then a feather and a tiny tail. Okay. Are you done, Naga? Let's do the beak. That's going to be a tiny V shaped beak. And let's do the other curve. A little inside its head. And then the legs are going to be curved this way. Two legs. And then it's going to have tiny little feet. Can you go slow? Yeah, Harshini. I'll go a little slower. So we just made two legs for this chicken. And then the eye is going to be right there. Just a line. If you are done with this, the next chicken is going to be very similar to this one. But it's going to face the other side. So leave a little space here. And then with the same kind of distance and with the same kind of measurement we can do another head like a C and then there's going to be similar kind of body on the other side Then there's going to be a tail and 
a feather like the previous chicken so I'm going to extend this a little bit it looks good so far thank you Harshini I hope yours is coming out good so you can have a little curve here if you want for the feather and then a teeny tiny beak a v-shaped beak Your screen is frozen, Harshini. Can you refresh the page a little bit and see if it's working? So now we're going to have two tiny legs. It's not straight legs. It's slanted. And we are going to have teeny tiny toes like the previous one. Yes, Ishi, I'll wait for you. So this chicken is similar to the other chicken except it's facing the other way. I got it. Can you tell what you did again? Hershini, we d you didn't miss much. We only did the legs here. The slanted legs here and tiny little toes. And it's going to have tiny eye which is closed and then do you know why these two chickens are standing here like that because they are fighting for a worm so we are going to do the worm here A wiggly worm in the middle of the two beaks and it's gonna wiggle from there and from here now it looks really funny isn't it We can move on to the fourth chicken. What do you think the fourth chicken is up to? It's definitely going to be looking funny. The fourth chicken is going to be on the side. You can draw it anywhere on the side or at the bottom wherever you have the space so I'll draw it a little over here it's going to be inside the egg as well this time the there's the bottom of the egg
and this is going to be cracked as well we have small cracks long cracks until there this chicken is upside down so we have its bottom can wait for a few seconds pranam yeah sure i'll wait for a few seconds for you so we just made this the bottom of the egg and then the bottom of the chicken that's very funny it's upside down so if you're done till here the upside down chicken is going to have its eggs in the air and toe in the air too we have four chickens now although we couldn't see the heads of the two chickens that's inside the hidden inside the egg shall we start with the coloring you can either do multicolored egg we are going to color the eggs as if we are going to decorate the easter eggs so think of a decoration for your eggs here they are painted eggs i'm going to have some designs on my eggs too when you're using pastel make sure you're holding the pastel away from the paper so i'm going to have some designs on this egg like that you can choose any color for for your egg and choose any type of designs so i'm going to color my first egg with green you can do multicolored egg or double colored egg so i'm going to do a double colored egg so my egg is going to have a dark green on the corners just in the corners and i'm going to blend them with a lighter color if you're choosing any other color you can do either multicolor or double color Okay. Make sure you're giving lot of pressure while doing the coloring and we also want to make sure there's no white spaces in between. That's when it looks really bright and blended well. So I'm going to have another color inside my egg. So mine is going to be double colored. So I'm going to choose a lighter green. If you're choosing any other color, make sure you're choosing 
similar colors for blending like light blue or dark blue light red dark red yellow and orange or something similar like that the blending is really important here when we are doing the blending we need to make sure we are going a little on top of the darker color so that it blends well so I have double colored egg I'm using lighter green to blend them so I'm using light green and dark green if you're choosing any other color make sure the blending is good we need to bend, blend lighter color on top of the dark color. Also, we need to choose similar colors for the blending. Hi Pallavi, thanks for joining. So I'm just taking away my pastel dust a little bit. my chicken um, we still have the designs here so let me do yellow for my design and a little bit of white White is a good blending color, can be used to blend any color really well. Okay, that's very good blending, Meghna. Thank you, Meghna. I hope you are doing a good blending as well. So you can choose to have any kind of design for your egg. So I just have some drops of design. So now my egg is done. I'll just have shadows for my egg on the side. That's the back side of the egg, you know. So I have some dark shadows near the corners. Now for the chicken. So I'm going to color my chicken with orange and yellow. So if you have a really dark shell, you might want to choose a lighter color for your chicken as well. You, we don't want too dark chicken and egg that won't be looking very good so I'm going with orange and yellow chicken do we have to do the shadows um, it's optional Hashini or Pranav it's optional it's looking nice Ria thank you Ria I would like to see your yours too after you are done so now we are going to do the chicken so I'm going to color my corners of the chicken orange. I'm going to blend with yellow in the middle. So I'm pressing it really hard so that it kind of blends on its own. Also there's no white spaces in the middle. nice and smooth so I blended it nice and smooth 
around the corners. What color you do the shading? Lasia, which shading are you asking? For chicken, I chose orange and yellow. Can we do a dark chicken if we did a light eggshell, Meghna? Yes, you can do that, Meghna. So I'm using yellow in the middle and for egg. Last year for egg, I did dark green and light green. The sides have the shadows here. It's optional. What if you made your egg orange and yellow? You can go with any other color, Ishi. Like pink or red and pink, something like that. But make sure you're choosing a light color and a dark color combination. Instead of complete dark colored Also, similar colors will go well. As I said, light purple, dark purple, orange and yellow, light green, dark green, light blue and dark blue. Those are like good combination of colors. So when we are blending light colors with darker color, we need to go on top of the darker color. That's when it gets blended well. I like yours. Thanks, Kanish. I hope yours is coming out good too. And then for the legs, looking good so far, Hoshini. That's good. So I'm going to make my legs brown. Now we can move on to the next chicken. Maybe we can finish off the chicken inside the egg first. It's very similar to this one, except it's upside down. That's really funny. So you can do any other colors for this egg. I'm gonna choose dark blue and light blue with some polka dots in between so i'm going to do polka dots on my egg other egg so you can choose to have any other design if you want i'm going to choose dark color for the corners we need to make sure we are doing without any white spaces and lot of pressure if you're choosing any other color make sure you're choosing similar dark and light colors for the egg I'm just doing the corners because I, I want to blend that with a lighter color in the middle. If you have tiny space, you, you have to be really careful when doing the coloring. We don't want to go outside the lines and we don't want to do smudge it. nice and bright now for the lighter color
when we are blending them we need to go on top of the dark color and that's when it gets blended well if you have chosen some other color do the same thing with the lighter color yeah it's it's your choice to paint your egg with whatever color you want we just need to have this in mind for the blending light color goes on top of the dark color okay so we are applying a lot of pressure for blending and make sure we keep our fingers and palm away from the paper I would like to leave the polka dots white you can do any color if you want all my chickens are going to be same color orange and yellow so I'm going to do the same kind of combination around the corners it's going to be orange make sure we are keeping the fingers and palm away from the paper and I'm going to blend the orange with yellow so just around the corners without smudging on the egg we need to go very slow near the corners so that it's not smudged so I did an orange can we do a different color instead of orange and white for the chickens? You can choose a different color, Hoshini. Just make sure um, it's not the similar color like the eggs. And you want to make sure you have a light and dark color with similar shades. Like light green or dark green, light blue, dark blue, light, I mean pink and red, something really close. So I'm blending yellow with orange. So always we go a little on top of the darker color using the lighter color. So that's when it gets blended well. Okay. So now for the legs, I'm using the same brown for this funny little chicken. Hey, we are done with two funny chickens and only two more are left now. Like I said, all my chickens are going to be same colors. You can switch it if you want. It's going to be orange and yellow for me. So when I'm going to do the <clears throat> the next two chickens, I'm going to have two shades like the other ones. So Only my feathers and the corners are going to be orange. So my corners, 
for the chicken is a darker color which is orange here if you have chosen any other color make sure you're doing the corners with a darker color lot of pressure while blending hi pallavi thank you hope yours is coming out good and then i'm going to have my yellow inside well blended with orange so I'm going little over orange so that it's blended really well. We need to make sure there's no white spaces. A little on top of orange. Blend, blend, blend. Now it's really blended well. Awesome from Harshini. Thanks, Harshini. So I have nice and colorful chicken here and now for the beak this beak is going to be dark red and the legs are going to be brown so if you want you can have a little shade for the wings it's kind of an outline for the wings I'm using brown so that kind of pops out this little wing also I'm giving little shade for the beak right there and a little on top of the red so that it kind of you know creates that darker shade the eye is going to be black so be very careful when we are using black teeny tiny eye okay now for the next chicken I'm going to use orange and yellow like all my chickens the outline is going to be darker with orange nice and smooth so we are applying a lot of pressure so that it blends on its own I'm doing the same thing 
like I did for my previous chicken. So only the corners are going to be dark colors. Same for the wing. And around the top corner, make sure you're not keeping the fingers inside the picture. Now for the blending, I'm using the same technique like before. When we are using lighter color inside, we need to go on top of the dark color for it to blend well. So we need to do that kind of blending by using the lighter color on top of the dark color. Nice and smooth. And at the top, Good, with good blending. We are almost done here. Okay. Now for the beak, there's a tiny little beak similar to the first chicken. I'm going to coloring that with dark red. What are the color of the worms? Um, I have brown worms, Hershini. So we are going to do brown outline for the wing, to make that pop out. And a little bit for the beak, at the bottom of the beak. So I'm using brown for that and brown for the feet. And brown for the worms. It looks really good. Pra Thanks Pranav. I hope it's coming out well for you too. And the eye is black. Teeny tiny eye. So when using black, we need to be always careful because black is too dark and it can make big mess if we are not careful. Okay, now that we are done with the chickens here, we can go for some decorations around the chickens. I would like to have some balloons around the chickens. So you can have anything you want or any colored balloon. 
So I'm just going to have some double colored balloon which is going to be blended with white and I'm going to have multicolored balloons with a brown string and another balloon right there again blended with white yeah the balloons are optional but it really looks cool, isn't it, with all the balloons around the chickens? Well, next, I want some red balloons. You can have rainbow colored balloon if you want. I'm just doing double colors blended with white with a brown string what other colors can we do? maybe a teal colored balloon right there Ta-da! Looks like a navy blue now. A navy blue balloon so I'll just stop with one more balloon a dark green we're almost done with our decorations Okay. Yay. We have these colorful balloons now with all our silly chickens. And we are done, so you can go ahead and have your pretty artistic signature at the bottom. Let me show that a little closer. With all the balloons. Can we do how many balloons we want to do? Um, it's up to your wish, Kranav. But keep it minimal instead of going too crazy with the balloons. Four or five should be good. Let's see what caviar here. Let's have it here. Oh, they look really colorful. Good job, girls. That's really pretty. Okay, now we have silly chickens, silly baby chickens. Hope everybody enjoyed today's artwork. I would like to see all your artworks, all your finished artworks. So please post it in the comments. 
I would like to see all your wonderful, colorful, beautiful artworks. Um, so enjoy your spring break and we can meet next on Monday at 4 p.m. Yeah, we will still meet on Monday at 4 p.m. Um, please don't forget to post your pictures at the bottom. If you want to paint along, draw along with your friends, you can share this video with your friends too. There is a share button at the end bottom of this video. And if you click that, you can share it with your friends so that all your friends can draw with you together. Okay, see you guys next week, Monday at 4 p.m. Don't forget to post your pictures. Bye-bye. It looks awesome, Harshini. Thank you, Harshini. Don't forget to post your picture. I would love to see your picture, okay? Bye-bye. See ya.